I've came across something truly unique that simplifies the process of creating autonomous AI agents on any sort of large language model. Allow me to introduce Nexus GPT. This is a platform that revolutionizes the way of creating autonomous AI agents, which you can achieve any sort of task under two minutes. Now, Nexus GPT is something that is designed with the goal of putting autonomous employees at users' fingertips. And it's a way that offers you a user-centric approach that doesn't demand any sort of extensive AI expertise. This is something that comes with a user-friendly interface and it lets you have the ability to craft custom AI assistants that are tailored to their unique voices as well as their unique personality. This is something that has a focus on effortless training as well as tailoring to an evolution of ongoing adaptability. Now, the platform facilitates seamless integration with popular communication platforms like Slack, Teams, and WhatsApp with a single clip, enhancing the accessibility. Now, to address different types of privacy concerns, what Nexus GPT has done is that it allows users to actually run the AI on their own server, which is letting you protect your files completely on a secured cloud platform. Now, the platform also comes with the marketplace, which is something that allows you to access ready-made assistance that could be used for various different tasks. Just take a look at this example. This is an example where you can create your own AI agent within a minute, and you basically just need to specify the requirements of what task the assistant will be doing. In this case, you give it a job title for the agent. The, then you specify what your agent can do so you can then provide it certain restrictions as well as provide it certain tasks that it must need to complete for that basic role. Now it's fairly easy to do so you can set all of this up within a couple of minutes. They already have a ready made filter as well as a ready made guide template that helps you create this agent within a couple of minutes. Now the thing is is that this is a great platform for you to create specific autonomous agents rather than using something like AutoGPT which you just give it a prompt and it does everything for you. This is more like an approach that lets you have more flexibility in creating your autonomous AI agent. Now guys, this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as I showcase how you can use Nexus GPT, just going over the UI and just showcasing some use cases of it. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I got a really helpful autonomous AI agent creation tool called Nexus GPT. Now, this is a platform that can simplify AI creation very easily, where you can basically craft any custom AI agent on any sort of large language model within a couple of minutes. Now, it's a user-friendly tool that anyone can use for free, which is really, really cool. In this case, you can specify which agent you want to use. They have a marketplace of ready-made agents that you can start using right away. So in this case, if I want something for Python, I can just search up Python and I can see that there's already a ready-made agent that I can use that can help me with code review, script creation, data analysis, as well as with API integration. You can do other things such as uh, help you like learn a certain language. So in this case, English, uh i would say teacher you can see that there's already a teacher uh, in this case it's not an english teacher but you can use this agent that can help you learn and facilitate the learning for english as a language now in this case this is just an example of just showcasing the various different types of roles and agents that are already made within nexus gpt this doesn't mean that you can't create new ones you have the ability to tailor your ai assistant to a specific task or a specific need that you want it to actually accomplish this is the great thing about nexus gpt as we will be taking a look at how you can actually create your own specific tailored ai assistant 
like I mentioned, you can create custom AI assistants within a couple of minutes. You can create it, fine tune it, integrate the AI that works for you within a couple of seconds and minutes. Now it's easy to do so. You're able to craft the AI assistant that has its own voice and it can understand your task. You can tailor it and have it so that it can evolve to your to become an AI sidekick. You can plug it within various different communication platforms like Slack, Teams, or WhatsApp. And another great thing is that you can fine tune with your own data so that the generation that is made from the actual AI assistant is more accurate. The great thing about Nexus GPT is that it is completely private and that you're able to use any sort of large language model that you would want, whether that's closed source or open source. You can select a range of different open source models like Mistral, for example, or you can use anything that you would want through Hugging Face. Now guys, to get started, you can easily just sign in or create an account by just using your own email address or you can do so with your Google account. So I'm going to create an account and we'll then go into showcasing the UI. Now, once you have signed in, you'll be then sent to this dashboard over here. This is where you're going to be chatting with your autonomous AI agents. You'll be able to see that you can see the latest updates over here, as well as different instructions, which showcase how you can use Nexus GPT. In this case, you can select whatever agent that you want after you have created them, but you're also able to have it so that it can set different presets as to what the agent will be doing. In this case, you can have it so that it can autonomously generate anything that you want. You can ask it questions with the slash chat command, or you can have it so that it's in the slash plan command so that you can get your agent to plan and execute any sort of complex task that you want. You're also able to have it so that it can go on the internet and search, have it do different problem solving questions or answers you can have it so that you can send emails brainstorm and so much more guys this lets you have a lot of variety in terms of how your agents generate various different types of content for you now i want to talk a little bit more about the pricing because this is not completely free as when you're using large language models you're going to need to pay the api cost for the usage now you're able to connect an external LM provider. So in this case, if you click on this, you're going to be able to see that you're able to choose various different providers and connect the API key for it. So you can, in this case, if you're using Mistral, you just need to input your API key for it, the model name, and you're going to be able to add your model. If you're using OpenAI, for example, you can select your model, set the temperature and your API key that is connected to a billing account. And you're going to be able to access it. This is a way for you to basically have and have it so that you can add your custom model that's an external LM provider. Now you're also able to do the exact same thing but host your own LM on Nexus. This is a way that you can access a diverse range of open source models whether that's off of Hugging Face or whether that's deploying your own model directly within Nexus GPT. This is a way you can add your own model and you can do that simply by clicking on host your own model on Nexus or add your own model that you already host. So if you click on this you will see that they have a pricing plan already selected for you so that you can use it in my opinion i think it's just better that you use a external provider as it's way more easier to actually set up and configure with nexus gpt now as i mentioned before you're able to give your ai agent some sort of context and this is through uploading your own data which will fine tune your agents this is something that will help it generate different types of content based off the context that you want it to generate now you're also able to play around with different tools in which you can create your own tool or select tools from their marketplace if you go to the models we mentioned this but if you go to the agents sorry you're able to find different agents on their marketplace or even create your own custom agent you already have the agent that is already created with nexus gpt but if you go on find an agent on the marketplace you can find any sort of agent that will be beneficial for you so in this case i'm going to go to the coding uh, agents so i'm going to search up a python coder so i see that there is a python developer a machine learning engineer as well as an experienced analyst so in this case i'm going to go for the python developer i'm going to then deploy this one by purchasing it and this is something that you can do within nexus gpt so you can just simply go back over here python view the profile and onboard it onto your agent list now once i can duplicate or hire this i can start chatting with this agent so we can see that we already hired him and we can start chatting so that he can start helping us with various different autonomous coding needs 
Now, they also have a great documentation, so I'll also leave this link in the description below so that you can take a look at some of these tutorials that will help you use Nexus GPT better. Now, guys, I lastly want to end off with this tutorial over here, which is showcasing that you're able to speak with any sort of data that you want. This is an example of what you can do with Nexus GPT. This is something where you can simply feed Nexus GPT any sort of Excel file or any sort of CSV file. Whether it's a super large file, you can basically ask it anything that you want and it can summarize information, give you certain projections, as well as give you advice on where the data is going. Now, the platform is able to automatically generate, test, and execute any sort of code that you want it. And it can give you the answers based off of what you're seeking. In this case, you see that there is a prompt that is focusing on looking for bar charts of users over the past three months. And as we go through the generation, it gives you the exact data that is needed. Now, this is a great way for you to chat with your data and it will get you a more user-friendly approach to getting uh, generation for Excel files. This is great for people who want to get data instantly and you don't have to actually look it up on your own. Now, before we end off, guys, I want to give my two cents because I don't really want to sugarcoat, sugarcoat everything because the usability of this is really good, but there are some drawbacks and that's because of this pricing structure that they have. I really hope that they can get rid of this and have it so that it's fully open source and locally hosted. This would bring in a lot more users and it would be way more revolutionary for many different types of users. Maybe going with a free plan and then evolving to a pricing structure a little while later. This is a new project that they've developed so I don't know why they have a pricing structure at the moment. It's something that they should have more users use it and eventually go towards a pricing structure. But that's that's just my two cents i definitely think that this is a tool that is very useful and for the right user actually but if someone is trying to create their own autonomous ai agent you're able to do so fairly easily with this platform so if you're interested definitely take a look at all the links for nexus gpt in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video definitely check out our patreon page if you want to join our private discord follow us on twitter if you want to get stay up to date with the latest ai content and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas